Well, God bless you on this day. May He lift your spirits, whatever it is that you're facing. You know, it's really important in a season in which we feel like we've lost so much to focus and meditate on what we have not lost and will never lose. And I think a wonderful table of contents for the beauty of what God has given us to us that can never be taken away is found in the 23rd Psalm. Yep, we've lost a lot. Security, interaction, opportunities for entertainment. But we counterbalance this sense of loss by focusing on what we still have. This is very important for our emotional health, for our faith. And again, the 23rd Psalm invites us to do that. Look at this, verse 5. He leads me on paths of righteousness. Can we talk for just a few moments about God's gift of righteousness to unrighteous people. God bless you. If you don't want to hang around, leave your prayer request. If you want to hang around, I want to tell you about a time that a friend organized a cookie swap for our church staff. The plan was simple. Price of admission was a tray of cookies. Your tray entitled you to pick cookies from other trays. You could leave with as many cookies as you brought. Sounds simple if you know how to cook cookies. But what if you can't? What if you can't tell a pan from a pot? What if, like me, you are culinarily challenged? What if you're as comfortable in an apron as a bodybuilder is wearing a tutu? If such is the case, you got a problem. Such was the case, I had a problem. I had no cookies to bring. Hence, I would have no place at the party. I'd be left out, turned away, shunned, eschewed, dismissed. Are you feeling sorry for me yet? Yeah. That was my plight. And forgive me for bringing it up, but your plight is even worse. You see, our Heavenly Father is planning a party, a party to end all parties. Not a cookie party, but a feast, a heavenly feast. Not giggles and chit-chat in the conference room, but wide-eyed wonder in the throne room of Almighty God. Oh, it's going to be an amazing event. No egos, no power plays, guilt, shame, sorrow, all checked at the gate. Disease, death, depression, distant memories of a distant past. What we now see daily, we'll never see there. It's going to be perfect. But the problem is we are anything but. This is our problem. God is righteous and we are not. God is righteous. His decrees are righteous. His judgment is righteous. His actions are righteous. His requirements are righteous. His decisions are righteous. Daniel said it this way, Our God is right in everything He does. Daniel 9 and verse 14. God's never wrong. Never rendered a wrong decision. Never experienced a wrong attitude, never taken a wrong path, never said the wrong thing, acted in the wrong way. He's never too late, never too early, never too loud, never never too soft, never too fast, never too slow. He always has been and always will be right. He is righteous. When it comes to righteousness, God runs the table without so much as a bank shot. And when it comes to righteousness, we don't know which end of the cue stick to hold. That's our problem. That's our problem. Will God, who is righteous, spend eternity with those of us who are not? How do we gain admission to this party? How do we have access to the feast? Our Lord is right, we are wrong. His party is for the guiltless and we are anything but. What do we do? How do we respond? Well, I can tell you what I did. I confessed my need. Remember my problem with the cookie party? I sent an email to the whole staff. I said, I can't cook, so I can't be at the party. I was soliciting pity. (laughs) It didn't work. Did any of the assistants have mercy on me? No. Did any of the staff have mercy on me? No. Did the Supreme Court justices have mercy on me? No. But. A saintly sister in our church did have mercy on me. I don't know how she heard of my problem. I don't know. Maybe my name found its way onto an emergency prayer list. But I do know that just moments before the celebration, 
she showed up in my office with a gift, a plate of cookies, 12 circles of kindness. And by virtue of that gift, I was privileged to place at the party. Did I go? You bet your cookies I went. I, like a prince carrying a crown on a pillow, I carried my gift into the room and I set it on the table and I stood tall. You see, because some good soul had heard my plea, I was given a place at the table. Please hear this. Because God has heard your plea, you'll be given the same. Only he did more, so much more than bake cookies for you. It was at once history's most beautiful and most horrible moment. Jesus stood in the tribunal of heaven, sweeping a hand across the whole of creation. He pleaded, punish me for their sins. Punish me for their mistakes. See the murderer? Give me his penalty. See the adulteress? I'll take her shame. The bigot, the liar, the thief. Do to me what you would do to them. Treat me like you would a sinner. And God did. The scripture says, For Christ died for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous to bring you to God. 1 Peter 3 and verse 18. The righteous for the unrighteous. Righteousness is what God is, and righteousness is what we are not. And yes, righteousness is what God requires. But the Apostle Paul said it like this, God has a way to make people right with him. Romans 3.21 or David said it. He said, he leads me on paths of righteousness. You see, the path of righteousness is a narrow winding trail up a steep hill. And at the top of the hill is a cross. And at the base of the cross are countless bags full of innumerable sins. Calvary is the compost pile for our guilt. Would you like to leave yours there as well? I hope so. One final thought about the cookie party. Did everyone know that I did not cook the cookies? If they didn't, I told them. I told them. I said, I'm present by virtue of someone else's kindness. My only contribution was my own confession. We'll be saying the same for eternity. Friend, nobody can take that from you. That's a gift of God. It's a gift of God. Lay hold of it today. Let it encourage you today. Be strong in the great grace of Christ because He leads you on paths of righteousness.